हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल इन प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी डिस्कस्ड सीक्वेंसेस कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ सीक्वेंसेस कोची सीक्वेंसेस एंड कंप्लीट मैट्रिक स्पेसेस इन टुडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस कंटीन्यूअस फंक्शन इन ए मैट्रिक स्पेस continuous function let x d and y d star are any two मेट्रिक स्पेसेस एंड एफ इज ए फंक्शन फ्रॉम एक्स टू वाई दैट इज एफ इज ए फंक्शन फ्रॉम एक्स टू y then the function f is said to be continuous function if for epsilon greater than 0 there exist delta greater than 0 such that distance between x and a is less than or less than delta this implies d star f of x f of a is less than epsilon where x is belongs to capital x and f of x belongs to capital y in another words let capital x and capital y are any two metric spaces with metric d and d star respectively let f is a function from x to y then f is said to be continuous function at a point a if and only if for each open sphere s f of a epsilon in capital y centered at f of a with radius epsilon there exists an open 
atmosphere. S A delta in capital X centered at A with radius delta such that x belongs to sphere centered at a with radius delta this implies f of x belongs to sphere centered at f of a with radius epsilon thus f is continuous at a if for each open sphere as f of a epsilon in capital y there exist an open sphere as a delta in capital x such that f of sphere centered at a with radius delta is contained in sphere centered at f of a with radius epsilon we can also write it as limit x tends to a f of x is equal to f of a let f x to y be a function where capital x and capital y are any two metric spaces with a metric d and d star respectively then f is continuous if it is continuous at all points of the metric space capital x now we shall discuss the example show that a constant function is always continuous function let capital x 
and capital Y are two metric spaces with metric D and D star respectively. Suppose F from X to Y is a constant function We have to prove that F is continuous function. Let A belongs to capital X B arbitrary and epsilon greater than zero choose delta is also greater than zero so that distance between x and a is less than delta x is belongs to capital X this implies d star f of x f of a is equal to zero because f is a constant function this implies f of x is equal to f of a for every x is belongs to capital x this implies a d star f of x f of a is equal to 0 this implies d star f of x f of a is less than epsilon hence d x a is less than delta this implies d star f of x f of a is less than epsilon this implies f is continuous at a but a is arbitrary point of capital X therefore F is continuous at every point of capital X. Hence, constant function is continuous function. Next example, let K be a given point of the matrix space XD. and R 
for d star be the usual metric space then show that the function fk from x to r such that fk x is equal to distance between x and k x is belongs to capital x is continuous function solution let x at d and r d star are two metric spaces where r d star is a usual metric space and f k x to r is any function defined as f k x is equal to distance between x and k x is belongs to capital x and k is any given point let a belongs to capital x be arbitrary and epsilon greater than 0 be given now suppose delta is equal to epsilon then delta is also greater than 0 and distance between x and a is less than delta consider d star f k x f k a is equal to modulus of distance between x and k minus distance between k and a which is less than equal to modulus of distance between x and a which is less than delta is equal to epsilon this implies distance between x and a is less than delta then d star f k x f k a is less than epsilon this implies f k is continuous function 
at the point A, but A is an arbitrary point of capital X. This implies Fk is continuous at every point of capital X. Hence, Fk is continuous function. Next theorem. Let F and G are any two continuous real valued functions. Defined on a metric space X with the metric D, then show that. F plus G and alpha into F are also continuous functions where alpha is any real number. Prove in this question it is given that there are two continuous functions. F and G are two continuous real valued functions defined on a metric space XD. We have to prove that their sum that means f plus g and scalar multiplication of f that is alpha into f is also continuous. A question can be asked show that the sum of two continuous function in a metric space is also continuous function and if f is a continuous function then their scalar multiplication alpha into f is also a continuous function. Let x d be any metric space and f g are two functions from x to r. We have to prove that f plus g is also continuous function. As f x to r and g x to r are continuous functions So, f 
and D are continuous at every point of X let A belongs to capital X F G R continuous at A so for given epsilon greater than 0 there exists delta 1 greater than 0 and delta 2 greater than 0 such that distance between x and a is less than delta 1 this implies d star f of x f of a is less than epsilon by 2 this implies f of x minus f of a its modulus is less than epsilon by 2 because d star is a usual metric. And d x a is less than delta 2. This implies d star g of x g of a is less than epsilon by 2 this implies g of x minus g of a its modulus is less than epsilon by 2 let delta is equal to minimum of delta 1 delta 2 then distance between x and a is less than delta this implies modulus of fx minus fa is less than epsilon by 2 and modulus of g of x minus g of a is less than epsilon by put it equation number 1. Consider modulus of f plus g x minus f plus g a is equal to modulus of f x plus g x minus f a minus g a which is equal to modulus of f x minus f a plus g x minus g a which is less than equal to modulus of f x minus f a plus modulus of gx minus g which is less than epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 because by equation 1 this implies modulus of f plus g x minus f plus g a is less than epsilon. Thus, distance between x and a is less than delta. This implies d star f plus g x f plus g a is less than epsilon. 
Thus, f plus g is continuous at a, but a is arbitrary. Therefore, f plus g is continuous on metric space capital X. Now, we have to prove that alpha into f is continuous, where alpha is any A real number and f is a continuous function on capital X. Let A is belongs to capital X since f is continuous so for given epsilon greater than 0 there exist delta greater than 0 such that distance between x and a is less than delta this implies d star f of x f of a is less than epsilon divided by modulus of alpha now modulus of alpha f x minus alpha f a is equal to modulus of alpha f of x minus alpha f of a is equal to alpha f of x minus f of a is equal to alpha modulus modulus of f of x minus f of a is less than modulus of alpha into epsilon divided by modulus of alpha which is equal to epsilon thus distance between x a is less than delta this implies d star alpha f x alpha f a is less than epsilon this implies alpha f is continuous at the point a thus alpha f is continuous at all points of capital X because A is arbitrary. Hence, a function is a continuous function in a metric space X then their scalar multiplication is also continuous in the same metric space x. It is sufficient for today. In the next video, we will discuss some more examples and results based on continuous functions in a metric space. So keep in touch.
वॉच अवर वीडियोज एंड सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल फॉर मोर एंड मोर वीडियोज ऑन दीज टॉपिक्स थैंक्स टू ऑल हैव ए नाइस डे बाय बाय